This video will show you just how easy it is to update the firmware on your IC705. Updating your firmware in your radio keeps it running at its best. New features as well as engineering tweaks are added regularly, especially in radios that are new to market. You can check your current firmware version on the IC705 by looking at the number in the lower right-hand corner of the display when you turn the radio on. You'll need a micro SD card to copy the new firmware to, so let's start. Head over to the ICOM Japan site and navigate to the Firmware slash Software tab. Search for IC705. This reveals a selection of software that the IC705 uses. In this case, click the Firmware option. The Firmware download screen details what's been changed in this new version of firmware. Scroll to the bottom of the page and agree to the terms and conditions. Then download the file to your PC. Once complete, browse to the zip file in Windows File Explorer. Double click it to reveal the DAT file. Right click the file and select copy. Now browse to the SD card which at this stage is plugged into your PC. Step in to the IC705 folder. Right click in a blank area and click paste to save the DAT file to the micro SD card. Now replace the SD card in the IC705 and power up the radio. Open up the menu, then press Set. Scroll to and select the SD card option. Then scroll and select Firmware Update, where you'll see a warning. Select the arrow down button, then tap and hold Yes to continue. Now, when prompted, back up your radio's current configuration, just in case as sometimes a firmware update will factory reset your radio. In tech terms, a first birthday. Now, select the current firmware that you just copied to your micro SD card. Answer yes by pressing and holding the yes option on the radio. This starts the process. Now there's nothing else to do but sit back and relax and wait for the update to finish. radio will restart and when this happens check the firmware version in the bottom right hand corner of the display again. That's it, job done. An easy process which will need to be repeated as new firmware versions are released by ICOM. Thank you.